A lot of people have noted that one of the important things about this Georgia case of all the four Trump indictments um, is that no federal pardon can save Trump from a case that's brought under st state law, and that's true. So no President Trump, no any other Republican president can wave a magic pardon wand and make this, uh, make a conviction in this case go away. That's true. Also, he can't be rescued by a Republican governor in Georgia, either Republican Governor Brian Kemp or any other Republican governor that might succeed him. In lots of states, a governor can pardon somebody accused of or convicted of state crimes. But in Georgia, um, because a previous governor abused that, <laughs> a governor no longer has that power. So that is one of the notable things about this prosecution as compared to the other three that he's facing. A pardon is not going to save Donald Trump in Georgia. However, knowing that, once this case was well underway and pretty clearly moving toward indictment, Georgia Republicans gave themselves a new power to make this case go away for Donald Trump if they decide to. Not a pardon power, but something in, way, in some ways better, a power to remove the prosecutor from her job. This is a new law signed in May by Republican Governor Brian Kemp. They moved up the start date of the law, so it actually goes into effect on October 1st this year. I have to say, with all due respect, all the press about this was totally credulous. Oh, they say this isn't about Fonnie Willis, so it must not be. It isn't at all about Trump. They say it isn't. It's definitely just coincidence that Georgia Republicans are giving themselves this particular power right now for the first time in state's history, in the state's history. Um, well, well, now it's, it's coming to pass. Trump is now indicted. Trump is facing trial in Fulton County, Georgia. And now, right on cue, Georgia Republicans have this new power they just gave themselves. And sure enough, a Republican state senator in Georgia has just announced that as soon as this new remove the prosecutor law goes into effect in five weeks on October 1st, he is going to start proceedings in the Georgia legislature to use this new law, to use this new power to remove Fonnie Willis from her job. District Attorney Fonnie Willis said today she wants the trial of Trump and his co-defendants to start in eight weeks, to start on October 23rd. Well, if Republicans in the Georgia legislature go through with what they say they are planning, that will mean we'll be looking at a Republican effort to remove Fonnie Willis from her job as prosecutor right as this thing could be going to trial. Now, I should note this new power to remove prosecutors is already being challenged in court in Georgia. Earlier this month, a, a bipartisan group of DAs from different Georgia counties filed a lawsuit saying this is a power grab. It threatens the independence of the judiciary. Um, the DAs who brought that lawsuit were also prescient about how it would be worked, uh, how it would be used. De DeKalb County District Attorney's currently serving DA, Sherry Boston. She's one of the prosecutors who brought the lawsuit. Uh, she is overtly warning that pro-Trump Republicans would use this law to try to take out Fonnie Willis and end the Trump process. Prosecution. In fact, Georgia Republicans are already promising that that's what they were going to try to do as of October 1st. As we watch the Trump plane sit on the tarmac and get ready to take off to head back to New Jersey, um, I want to bring into the conversation Clark Cunningham, who is a professor of law at Georgia State University College of Law. Professor Cunningham, thanks very much for, for, for joining us tonight on um, this historic night, both in Georgia and in the United States. Glad to be with you this evening. Let me ask you about what I, what I just described, my understanding about SB 92, um, this new law that was signed by Brian Kemp in May. Um, a Georgia Republican senator is threatening, is saying that he plans, as soon as that goes into effect in October, that he will use that new process to start proceedings to get Fonnie Willis removed as prosecutor. Um, it, did I describe that accurately, and do you think they will actually try to do it? Oh, uh, I, I think that uh, the there definitely will be a complaint filed, perhaps more than one, against District Attorney Willis uh, on October 1st or 2nd, which is the date when the new Prosecuting Attorney Qualifications Commission would start accepting complaints. We had an all-day conference here at Georgia State Law School last week, and uh, at the beginning I said, I, I think there's a 100 percent chance that that's going to happen, uh, and then mm. you reported the, the probability of that. If she were to be removed from her job by that process, and again, there's, this is a process for which there's no precedent. It's never, it, this is a new power they have given themselves. Yes. Uh, so it's never been used before. So we can't say, like, this is a process that takes a year, or this is a process that usually looks like this. This would be the first time it's ever been used, particularly if they try right away on, 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 on the day in which the law is effective to, to start using it. But from, from the way Georgia law works, can you just tell us, 
if if they're able to do it, if Georgia Republicans are able to remove Fonnie Willis from her job using this new power, who would replace her? Uh, the the governor, Governor Kemp, would fill vacancies, uh, and so uh, this seems to be perhaps the only way that Trump allies could uh, could get rid of District Attorney Willis. Uh, there aren't enough votes to impeach her in the in the General Assembly, and uh, and so on. However, I, I should say that. What's being proposed it would be a pretty serious misuse of this law, um, and uh, we would. I would hope that the new members of the commission would not themselves allow the commission to be used for political purposes. The ostensible purpose of the commission is to remove district attorneys who are um, not up to the job or who are uh, misusing the powers of their office. The kinds of examples that were used in the debate around. Uh, the creation of this law were um, uh, district attorneys who are ineffective at prosecuting serious crimes and violent crimes. I had been sort of wondering if some of the rhetoric that Trump and his allies are using to criticize Fonnie Willis, constantly talking about uh, really mischaracterizing Atlanta's violent crime rate, mischaracterizing things like the murder rate in Fulton County, um, might be laying the groundwork to try to characterize an attack on Fonnie Willis as being more within the bounds of the, the means by which they created this law? Well, they're only, the, the law specifies particular reasons that a district attorney could be removed. And uh, what you've described wouldn't fit that. Uh, willful mm -hmm. misconduct in office would be one basis for removal. And there is a very general phrase, conduct prejudicial to the administration of justice, mm -hmm. which brings the office into disrepute. Perhaps that's the one that they might be thinking of. But let me say um, that uh, I, I would expect if the commission operated uh, as, as one should expect it to do, that it would not interfere with a pending criminal case. Uh, if President Trump believes he's the victim of vindictive prosecution or selective prosecution, he can bring that up in court himself. And I, uh, if this commission was operating properly, they would not consider that kind of a charge until there'd been an opportunity for it to be uh, processed through a court case. Clark Cunningham, professor of law at Georgia State University College of Law. Thank you um, for your Privilege attention to here. this and for your clarity. I really appreciate it, sir. Um, as I mentioned, this is this is a this is an important weird wrinkle um, in this Georgia prosecution, and there are not very many people who have been following this in terms of what it could eventually do. But Georgia Republicans are saying what they want to use it for so, already. But what is the? I don't think I quite understand the process. So they're going to file a complaint. Yeah. But. And then there's a commission, and then the commission makes the decision? It's a brand new law. It's yeah. never been used before. Right. And so what it looks like on paper, I could walk right. you through it, but right. while it's going to work in progress, I don't know. The commission makes the decision. The commission makes the decision, but the, for example, who appoints the commission? Right. The well, the, yeah. the, no Democrats will be involved in right. appointing right. any members of the commission. Right. Yeah. In fact, the Democrats are the minority party in the legislature, and they asked during the debate, would the minority party be allowed to make at least one appointment to this commission, and the Republicans said no, and they had enough power they, in the legislature, so that this will be purely appointed by Republicans, and they can act on any, you know, timetable they want. As I said, there's no precedent for how to use this properly, um, which means they'll be using it. It's a new tool they created for the purpose of removing prosecutors. They have never used it before. They are going to apparently try to use it for the first time to take out Fonnie Wall. But